All right, guys, let's paint a simple little Halloween scene. Here you can tell I did not prime my canvas. I want to keep these colors nice and bright. If I would have primed it with a white, it would have dulled it out a little bit. To be honest, these paints really don't need it. I'm just going to do my background. I'm going to stack a couple different colors, some different oranges and some reds. And here I'm putting in some of that bright yellow. I don't usually suggest putting your paint right on your canvas like that. You have less control. Telling myself as well. <laughs> A reminder. And here I'm just blending. And again, I didn't prime my canvas because I wanted everything nice and bright. You're just come in with your black and this is where your pumpkin's gonna sit. I just really like the look of all these bright uh, vivid colors against a crisp black. Really says Halloween. Now here I was trying to come in and get some of that bright yellow for the glow of the inside of the pumpkin but you can kind of see the background still wet and it's just picking up the paint. So I decided to wait on that. And just decide where your trees are going to be. And go for it. And here, you know, I don't really have a plan. You just kind of go with the flow and just throw in branches here and there. As you can see on the trunk of this tree right here, that the background isn't quite dry enough, so it's the black is picking up some of that. I suggest waiting. Here I'm coming in and I'm going to attempt to draw this pumpkin. <laughs>
looks good to me. There I'm just putting in that bright yellow, brightening up his eyes and his mouth a little bit. Here I try and brighten up some more and realize that it's just picking up that color, so I'm just going to chill out on that as well. Here, just go ahead and blend your colors together. And that's what it's looking like so far. might need a couple coats of your black depending on how the opacity of it so at the end you know I'd recommend if you're giving this as a gift or something go over these trees again and just make sure that they're super dark and he's gonna need a little stem there I'm just putting a little bit of black, or not black, I'm sorry, a little bit of that brown left over from the stem. Trying to give his eyes and his mouth a little bit of depth. Make it look like it's carved a little bit, but that yellow's still wet. So. Here we're going to come in and do a bat. Here is where I realized that I've never painted a bat before. So, I'm just going to roll with it. I do think my second one comes out quite a bit better. You know, room for improvement. Give him a little buddy. Paintings make me want some candy corn. <laughs> that looks good. Alright. I'm still coming in. I'm not happy with these eyes yet. I'm still wanting them brighter. Coming just back in with that bright yellow.
They'll never be bright enough. So here I'm going to come in and do some of the detail work on the pumpkin. Here we're going to add a little bed for him, a little bit of grass for him to lay on. I'm going to start with the dark green on the edges. Just tuft it up wherever you, you feel the need. I just felt like the painting needed a little bit of green. And I'm going to come in with a little bit of bright green as well. You know what? Those little um, pumpkin candies that are flat on the bottom. Those two. Alright, coming in and <laughs> we're going to line the inside of these eyes and its mouth. Just crisp it up a little bit. So there you go, there's your simple painting pretty much. I'm going to throw in some more of these small branches at the top. My vision was to sort of crab the very top of it, so I'm working on that. And I'm just going over my bats again like I was suggesting, making them a little bit darker. Crisping everything up here. Brightening up those eyes. So yeah guys, that's about it. I'm going to go over this tree and make a couple of these things a little bit darker to make the contrast really pop. But for the most part, that's it, guys. So have fun and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And watch my other videos here and here.